Well, thank you, Viplav, and uh, well, I would like to just congratulate each and every one who has made this event a success as we come to the close. Uh, it's very important that we do a certain amount of reflection and also try to see what we can do in moving forward. So as I see that uh, uh, it says reform, transform, and perform. So I think uh, this was the context. And the first group of people who really came forward, this is the first time in India that we have so, such a large group of eminent education researchers around the world. So we would like to thank all of them and give a big applause for all the things that they have done. I think this association will uh, get strengthened and will continue. We would like to see that uh, uh, the research related to the process of education and then transforming it into practices so that the educational world changes uh, more rapidly than what it is today. The second group of people whom we also like to applaud today is a large number of uh, uh, companies. We saw the wonderful presentations from these young, bright, aspiring corporations who are trying to develop technologies and technology-based solutions for transforming the world of education. And I think uh, to all these young men and women, we also would like to applaud for doing this. Selling car is one thing. Selling education product is a very different uh, ball game, actually. And those who are venturing into this sort of a business, we must uh, appreciate what they are doing. And the third and the most important part is that there are uh, educational institutions and education service providers in the country. And most important would be the organizers, Viplav and Madan and their colleagues, the company which has organized it. So as we come to the event, I think a big, big applause for all of them who made this as a wonderful thing. So I think uh, coming to the now serious business of reflection, I just want to pose, I'm a little bit of a die-hard educationist and I want to give you some uh, little bit of my experience. Uh, since I come as the director of one of the IITs, um, how hard it is to change an IIT, I can share with you. Uh, as a director, you know, of course, there is a cardinal rule in all IITs that if I want to do something, I have to propose exactly the opposite of it, which will be opposed <laughs> by the faculty. So I will get what I want, actually. So academic uh, community is very autonomous, very um, righteous. And therefore, to sell something, to convince them to change is not so easy. And we are talking about extremely high level of change in this society. We are looking at technologies which are extremely uh, modern and forward looking. And the question is, as I say, that there is a horse, there is a pond, the horse has been brought to the pond, but if the horse doesn't drink the water, then what do we do? So this question or the dilemma that I face in and out is what I'm going to pose to you as a question which we will leave in your hearts and minds so that we can move forward with some motivation. I teach design, and one of the things I started doing was to teach uh, computer-aided design. And you know, there are a lot of packages, and one of the very well-known packages is AutoCAD. And almost every first-year student in engineering has to do engineering graphics using AutoCAD. So when I used to teach the course, I will take care of how to teach the AutoCAD. And obviously, I can't teach every semester, so it used to go to some other faculty member. And those faculty members will not touch AutoCAD. They will say, I will take care of everything, but these AutoCAD lectures, you have to do it. I did it for one person and as a help. Then the second person did the same thing. The third person did the same thing. So for semester after semester, as far as the AutoCAD teaching of that first year engineering drawing course is concerned, it was my job. So what, what I'm trying to tell you is that the mindset change is probably the biggest challenge that the education world faces today. Uh, my, pose, my pose to all of you is that uh, how do we really change the mindset of educators or the mindset of teachers. 
Today we have seen so many technologies, such a wonderful thing. The students have another mindset. They are in India, particularly where the education is a very large business, and success in education is such a high premium, premium that at every cost, the student wants to get the grade. He wants to have the higher CGPA. He wants to have the highest uh, CPI so that he can get a job. Now, this whole uh, rat race, if I may call of the learning, and if I call it as the smugness of the teacher, and the third element, which is also a very serious issue, is the examinations. Probably the most outdated system in our country of education is the examinations, which are absolutely outdated. I mean. So if you take all the three, you have a serious issue, wherein we have got all these solutions, very fancy solutions. I have absolutely, I'm, I personally, I'm convinced about all of them. But as an administrator, as the head of an academic institution, and the person who closely watches and lives with the education world of India, I think the change is the biggest challenge. And I would like to pose to all of you that we need to also understand that the, the, the management of this change is going to be another ball game, probably ne next EJEX has to also look at the management of change and uh, some of the details of it, actually. What, the, what we have heard today from the experts from abroad, as well as from the companies within India, I am convinced that all the solutions and all the techniques are very important, whether it is a question of openness, whether it is a question of uh, um, the different uh, access that is available either on Facebook or Twitter or on YouTube or on Google or in any form. I think it is going to, the students have changed, the teachers don't change. As a matter of fact, uh, today they don't copy, uh, earlier our Xerox uh, shop on the campus was very busy because the students will Xerox the notes. Today they don't Xerox anymore, they take their mobile and click on it and they <laughs> copy the friend's notes actually, sort of. So you will find that the students change very, very rapidly. The teachers don't change and the administrators are totally confused in between the two. So I, I would like to say that the educationists who are here from abroad, as well as the technology service providers, education service providers, all of them, please look at the ground realities of inertia of the academic system. And we would like to support every initiative of change. However, the management of that change is a question. Thank you very much.